Health says more than 100 out of state nurses are now in Iowa to help provide relief in the battle against COVID-19 and more help could soon be on the way. Many nursing students are now more encouraged than ever to get into the field. As KCCI's Kayla James shows us, officials with the DMAC nursing schools say this pandemic is having an interesting impact. Yeah, Steve, Rhea, they're thinking they'll see more applications, and that's due to the pandemic. Years ago, DMAC increased the capacity of their program to fit the workforce needs of local health care providers, and, well, they're finally seeing it pay off. With 450 students, DMAC's nursing program is currently at capacity. School officials say the pandemic hasn't lessened their numbers. We're projecting to stay full for, for some time based on the number of students we see in the pipeline now. Nearly 100 students graduated from DMAC's program last May, and many went straight to work. The program's professors say, if anything, the pandemic has fueled a fire in their students. Our students are attracted to getting out there and participating in in the fight against this pandemic. In their annual report released after June, the Iowa Board of Nursing reports more than 51,000 licensed nurses were employed in Iowa. On Wednesday, Governor Reynolds announced more than 100 out-of-state nurses had arrived to help. More contact traces were also added to help those already working. I retired just three years ago. Like Sue Robotham, a former RN, now contact tracer with the Lynn County Public Health Department in Cedar Rapids, who desperately wanted to help but didn't feel it safe. I'm diabetic, so that puts me a little bit more you know, maybe at risk. As a contact tracer since August, Robotham says she's answering questions her nursing background is helping with. People want to know, well, what should they do? What should they look for? And while she can't be with patients fighting COVID herself, Robotham, a former oncology nurse, has a message for future RNs and those in hospitals now. You make a difference when you walk out that room at night and you have them all safely tucked in. They'll remember who you were and how you brighten their day. And DMAX Arthur Brown tells us a number of schools are probably seeing more students take interest in their nursing programs, both here in Iowa and across the nation. In Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI's 8 News, Iowa's news leader. As